Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the Journey to Become Wealthy. My name is Kill Marie, and today is Sunday. You guys know what Sunday is, right? Wealthy Word of the Week Day. Before I get into it, y'all make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make videos. So, today is Sunday, right? I told you guys on Friday to make sure that you take this weekend to refresh yourselves and get your mind back together and kind of work it out, right? Because some people may have been taking losses in this market. Some people may have been making wins and either of those can throw you out of equilibrium, right? I mean, taking those losses can kind of discourage you and kind of put you in a funk, right? Whereas winning can make you, you know, overconfident, make you greedy and things of that nature. So the wealthy word for this week is strategy strategy you need a strategy in order to be successful in order to be a successful trader in order to, to continue being successful you have to have a strategy so those who are overconfident you kind of you kind of stay balanced when you know hey this is my strategy and you don't stray outside your strategy right or those of you who've been taking losses you went go back to the drawing board and figure out your strategy because obviously you, maybe you lack one or maybe it's something that you're doing wrong when you're making trades. So the wealthy word for this week is strategy. And I that this one comes with a quote, right? Our goals can only be reached through the vehicle of a plan. There is no other route to success than a strategy. That is Pablo Picasso, right? So I'm gonna say that again. Our goals can only be reached through the vehicle of a plan. There is no other route to success as a strategy. Pablo Picasso. Y'all hear that, right? Our goals can be reached through the vehicle of a plan. Our goals, because 2022 is about achieving our goals, right? We all came into this year. When we started this year, we determined that, hey, we would start, we, we had a goal to become wealthy. That was our success. So no matter how the market was going, no matter how things were going up or down, we continue to stick to our strategy, which is what I've been telling you guys. Stick to the strategy. This is what we're this is what we're investing in or what I'm investing in. This is how we're gonna do it. We're on one piece at a time, continue to add on dollar cost averaging, and we're just gonna stick to our strategy. And only by sticking to that strategy can you continue to be successful. So a couple weeks ago, a lot of people keep asking, Kelvin, how are you, how are you making trades? How do you know what you're doing? How do you know when you want to buy? A couple weeks ago, I posted my video, Understanding Charts. And in that video, after I show you guys charts and kind of explain each chart pattern, I go through how I, how I trade, right? I showed you Tesla, my strategy, my plan. Every time I see a trade, every time I see a stock that I want to trade for the day, or if I, I have a goal as well for each day. I know how I need to make a little something at least to hedge against the losses. And when I overcome those losses, sometimes I stop often start trading. So we got to have a strategy in order to continue to be successful. If I trade outside of my strategy and when I start on my, I start to go against my strategy, I go outside those boundaries. And that is when I start taking losses. And many of you may not have noticed, but if you follow my Instagram and my Facebook, I want to say about two weeks ago, right? I, I didn't post any, any trades. Although I was winning, I had took one big loss. I took one big loss and I knew then that I had become overconfident and I strayed outside of my strategy. I, I went from just letting my plays come to me to chasing a trade. That is not a part of my strategy and that, that was my downfall. So I ended up losing about, I want to say $1,500 one day in trading, bad trades, several bad trades in a day. And instead of doing that, I took a break from that week. and. And that next week, I, last week, y'all saw what I did, right? I came back, I hit that 1500 and I doubled it up. So I came back strong than ever by staying to my strategy. Actually, for those two weeks without posting, I was making small wins and I, I was taking those screenshots and I was making sure I stuck to my strategy, right? I made sure I, I refocused myself, came back to equilibrium so that I could follow my strategy and, just, and continue to be a successful trader in this market especially with the volatility and all the crazy stuff going on. If you do not have a plan, you will. If you do not have a plan or a strategy, you will fail. And this is one thing I like to always go back to, right? The military taught me this. The five Ps. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. And that's all a part of the strategy. If you have a strategy, you're properly prepared for anything. Even this market, even though it's coming down, even though it's getting beat up extremely bad, you can be prepared. You can be successful in this market. So one thing 
I want to say is just make sure that you take this week because I think this is going to be a, a important week for us in the market, right? We saw things come down heavy last week. And then on Friday, we saw things come back. So whereas we were in that bear market territory, um, things started to bounce back on Friday. And we ended up pretty much flat on the weekend. Every major index after being down about 5% for the week on Thursday, Friday, we ended up only down about half a percent on most of these index. So less than 1% on each index. And let's look at it, right? Let's look at this. So I have a chart here of the SPY. This is the SPY and I have the MACD here. You see the MACD and I think this is important. I'm looking at the day time frame and you guys see up my line. So I have all my stuff charted out already in advance for next week if I want to trade the SPY or anything else. But look at this and these are not even all of them. Right? I have a lot more, but I clear my chart out sometimes and I rechart for each week. But uh, looking at the MACD, I think this is very important, especially looking at the day. So each of these tickers, it ticks is a day. Each of these candlesticks is a day. I'm sorry, I said tickers. Each of these candlesticks is a day when you're looking at the day interval. Each of these is a day. You can see the date at the bottom, 4-14-2022. And you see, looking at this, look at this market. So far, we have been consolidating, right? Except for this major downturn back in January when we came down hard, we see we've been consolidating. You see these lines, the supply and demand lines on the MACD down here have been pretty much the same. No major jumps. We had a major jump up back in March. So January, February, March. And then we came here, right here at about um, April, April 7th. We saw this thing come down heavy, right? So about March, we thought that things were rebounding. And then we see in April, things come down heavier than ever. If you look here and pay attention, it looks like this thing may be getting ready to cross back up. So I think this week, this trading week can determine if we see another week like this where it's going to go back into being a bullish market. As of right now, the market is still very much bearish. Bearish market means coming down, as you can see here, looking at the MACD. However, I see this orange line is getting ready to cross back up. And you see that the uh, the, the candles here are not as, as low, right? So we've seen this thing kind of flat here, and then you see it dip harder, where, and where prices come down more, and now you're seeing it start to go back up. You see it's getting green and you see the MACD looks like it's ready to cross back up. Based on this week, I think this is going to tell us, hey, whether we begin to become bullish again for the remainder of this month or next month. So I'm going to be keeping my eyes on this and looking forward to seeing, hey, are we going to be bullish? So I think this week could either be a very flat week or extremely volatile again. However, I think it's going to be very important this week or the next two weeks are going to be very important for the remainder of um up until about i'm gonna say june until the end of june to determine hey what where are we going but really just how or how we're going to trade for the next couple weeks right because we trade based on the market if you saw this if you looking at this if you noticed here that when this macd crossed and you realize it's going to be bullish you could have been doing put options immediately and making money all the way down because this market has done nothing but come down you could have made your first trade a put option right here on this day uh april 5th and been making money the entire month right here until uh, until about this point where it starts to go back up. You could have been making money on the way down. If you had a call option or put option, I mean a put option for the way down, you'd have been making money the entire time. So if this thing crosses back up, we should be looking to make calls. Again, you trade based on the market. You trade with your day. So you look at the four hour, the one hour, and each one of these tells you, right? Again, looking at this, looks like it's going bullish again, right? And this is the one hour, looking at the four hour, you see the MACD starting to cross. It's looking bullish, right? So these are the things I look at when I'm trading in advance for the week when I get ready to make my trades. So that's what I have for you guys today. I think we could possibly see some green days ahead. However, I don't know. I think this week is going to be very essential in determining that. Do we continue this downward trend or do things reverse and we see some th this market rally continue? So thank you guys for watching the video. Thanks for joining Journey to Become Wealthy. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.